find the volume of the solid generated by revolving the region bounded by this function and these two lines about the x-axis. So anytime I see volume, I think timber. So T stands for terms, I stands for interval, M stands for method, B stands for bottom, top, left, right. We only do that if we're working with washer or shell. And E stands for evaluate the integral, and then R stands for write down your right answer. The first thing I start with is the method. So I write down the methods that are available to me. So that's going to be disc, washer, or shell. And then what I do is I look at the information given to me. I'm only given one function of x. So I'm going to do disc. If it was two, then it could be washer or shell. So then what I do is I write down the formula. So the formula for disc is the integral of a to b, well pi, and then r squared dx. But really, r squared is just r of x squared, which is really just your function. So I like to say f of x squared, because your radius is always going to be your function. I always write down everything in terms of x like first but I have to double check if it is going to be in terms of x or if it's going to be in terms of y. So then I go to the first step, which is terms. So this depends on your axis of rotation, and it also depends on the method that you're using. So if I'm rotating about the x-axis and my method is disc, then I'm going to have everything in terms of x because disc tells me make sure that you take the same letter that's over here, put it over here. If it was shell, then shell tells me take this, take the opposite. That's why. So disc and washer work the same way and then shell is opposite. And so that means that everything, the function or the equations, the bounds or the intervals, and also the integral has to be in terms of x. So I already have my dx, that's good. I have this like f of x, it's in terms of x, but I really have to make sure it's in terms of x and it already is in terms of x because literally the terms are x, like literally the variables guys are x, so we're good. And then the bounds also have to be in terms of x. Now remember, lines are bound. So these lines that they give you they already are in terms of x. a is equal to 1 and b is equal to 4 there easy as that so then the bounds are also in terms of x because it's x is equal to 1 and x is equal to 4 so then i skip this step if i'm doing this because this step is to figure out which functions which and you only have one function here so that's only going to be useful when we get to washer and shell and so then my e is to evaluate my integral so my integral right now is the integral i times the integral from 1 to 4 of my function which is x squared minus 4x plus 5 and do not forget the square idea and then you just evaluate the integral so how would you do this well you would have to square everything first and you cannot just square every term remember that just take it out here to the side and you actually have to multiply them together that becomes the volume of pi integral one four because i'm simplifying this making it into that plus one that's five divide by five pull out the one over five plus one that's a three so divide by three and 26 x cubed and then plus one is four so divide by four so that's going to be negative two x to the fourth plus one if it's just a constant you just add the variable that's going to be plus 25x plus 1 so there's already a 1 here so 1 plus 1 is 2 so we divide by 2 so it'll be negative 20x squared and then we're taking this whole thing multiplying by pi and evaluating it from 1 to 4 the fundamental theorem of calculus says that you take this plug in 4 and then minus this but with one plugged in so that's going to look like the following and then if you do the whole math you're going to get that the volume is 78 i over 5 and that is the answer 